let's do a first example for the motion of a charged particle in an electric field. In a poorly aligned cathode ray tube, electrons enter a vertical uniform electric field with a velocity of 5 times 10 to the 7 meters per second at 20 degrees above the horizontal. The electrons hit the top plate 1 centimeter up and 2 centimeter to the right from the place where they entered the electric field. What is the magnitude of the electric field and in which direction does it point? Here's our diagram of the situation. I've drawn the two plates that create the uniform electric field, the velocity vector of the electrons as they enter, the electrons hitting the plates two centimeters away from the place where they entered the field, and I added a little note to myself that the trajectory of the electrons was parabolic, but I'm not sure in which direction it's par parabolic or which shape it has. So I'll just leave a note to myself and think about it later. The next thing I want to do is split up that velocity vector into its x and its y components. The x component is going to be 5 times 10 to the 7 cos 20 and the y component is going to be 5 times 10 to the 7 sine 20 and I've got 4.69 10 to the 7 i hat plus 1.71 10 to the 7 j hat meters per second. I've got velocities, I've got displacements, that means that this is a kinematics problem. So the plan is going to be to find the acceleration of the electron in this electric field and from the acceleration to get the magnitude of the electric field. Let's put this plan to execution. Anytime you're doing kinematics, always separate your variables into the ones happening in the x direction and the ones happening in the y direction. The only thing that's common for the two, of course, is the time. So in the x, displacement, 2 centimeters, acceleration, 0, initial velocity, 4.69, 10 to the 7 meters per second. In the y direction, displacement, 1 centimeter, acceleration, unknown, initial velocity, 1.71 10 to the 7 meters per second. Now I know that the acceleration is zero in the x direction because the problem told me that the electric field was vertical. So there are no forces acting on the electron in the x direction. When you know three of the kinematic quantities in one direction, you can figure out your other two unknown quantities. In our case, we've got more information for the x direction. So we use the x direction to figure out the time it took for the electron to hit the top plate. And then we'll use the time to figure out our acceleration. Let's use delta x is equal to v0 or t plus 1 half at squared. The acceleration is 0. So when you solve for time, all you have is displacement over initial velocity, 0.02 over 4.69 times 10 to the 7 is 4.26 times 10 to the negative 10 seconds. Now let's use that time in the y direction to find the acceleration. I can use the same kinematic equation as I used in the x direction and this time I'm going to solve it for the acceleration. So that gives me delta y minus v0 t, all that in parentheses multiplied by 2, divided by t squared. And plugging the numbers in, 1 centimeter minus 1.71 times 10 to the 7, that's the velocity, multiplied by 4.26 times 10 to the negative 10, that's the time, multiplied by 2, and then divide by 4.26 times 10 to the negative 10 squared. No, I couldn't do it by hand neatly, so I took the easy way out for your benefit. That makes the acceleration 2.99 times 10 to the 16 meters per second squared. Great, now we have the acceleration. How is this related to the electric field? Well, Newton's second law is still true in electricity and magnetism, so F is equal to ma, and the force on a charged object is its charge multiplied by the external electric field. So we can combine these two equations and get the value of the electric field between the two plates. The electric field is E is equal to MA over Q. Plugging in the numbers, 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31 is the mass of an electron, multiplied by 2.99 
10 to the 16 meters per second squared. That was our acceleration from the previous part, divided by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, which is the charge of an electron. And we get that the electric field is 1.7 times 10 to the 5 newtons per coulomb. We found that A, the acceleration, was positive which means that the force on the electron is also po positive, meaning pointing up. The electrons are negative, so the field must point down. Remember, the electric field points in the same direction as the force on a positive charge. Therefore, if we're dealing with negative charges, the field and the force are in opposite directions. But wait, you ask! What does the trajectory of the electrons look like? You said that you'd worry about it later. Well, let's worry about it now. There's a mnemonic for what a parabola looks like with respect to the acceleration. If the acceleration is positive, your parabola is smiling, so to speak. And if your acceleration was negative, your parabola would be frowning. Because we had a positive acceleration, we have a quote-unquote smiling parabola for the trajectory of the electrons. And there's another thing I want you to pay attention to. The initial velocity in the y direction is non-zero, so my parabola is not tangent to the horizontal at the beginning. It starts off with an angle. In theory, that angle should be 20 degrees. Well, I think we found the electric field, its direction, and we've talked about the trajectory of the electrons, so I hope you enjoyed it. Spread the joy of physics.